now from Democratic Congressman Luis Gutierrez, who joins us again this morning. And Congressman, thank you for joining us. I know you were at a detention center in Colorado uh, yeah. yesterday. Uh, do you share Mr. Bossert's, I, I guess, pessimism over the fact over whether this executive order can work? What's going to happen after the judge strikes it down this week? Well, first of all, my visit um, with three detainees um, from Guatemala, women all separated from their children, um, simply says to me, Luis, you cannot stop until each and every parent is reunited with their child. So that has to be our first priority, George. And I think we can all get together and agree that these children should be reunited with their parents and that moving forward, there should be no for, for, uh, more separations. But let's be clear, even, even as your former guest said, the plague from coming. He used that word, the plague from coming. The president uses words like they're breeders in sanctuary cities who are protecting breeders. He said yesterday, they come to infest. I mean, these are the kinds of words that the Republican Party and the, this president uses. And he doesn't use it as immigration policy. He doesn't use it as border control policy. He uses it as an uh, uh, issue in order to energize his political base for the midterm elections. It's wrong to separate babies, to use cruel, inhumane policies in order to gin up your political base. And it seems like it's working, George, because 90 percent of Republicans now have a favorable opinion of this president and support him. Uh, one of the answers that some Republicans are, are proposing now is that they're preparing a bill that would allow children to stay in detention facilities for more than 20 days, countermanding uh, that decision by the Ninth Circuit Court. If that's not the solution, then what is? Here's a solution. So my colleague Jerry Nadler has a proposal. We should sit down with serious, comprehensive proposals like the one that uh, Congressman Nadler, that would keep families together, that would make sure that our asylum system works. Look, remember, they are not coming here illegally. They are coming here seeking asylum and protection. As long, and I do agree with your former guest in this, as long as there are guns placed to people's heads, as long as young girls, daughters, are, uh, are, uh, are, are going to be raped and there's nobody to protect them. As young as sons, um, like my grandson, Luis Andres, are being able to uh, put into gangs, forcibly put into gangs, into drug cartels, people are going to flee this kind of poverty and this kind of violence and this kind of crime. So we should invest. But one thing I think we must remember, that key to all of this is the unabated consumption of the drugs. The drug cartels have established themselves in Guatemala, in El Salvador, in Honduras, and it is those drug cartels, and it is the drugs that come into this country that is a primary reason of the debilitation of the social structures and the reasons those governments cannot protect the children and cannot protect that population. So let's invest in our hemisphere. Let's invest in democracy and in jobs and in economic development instead of using it as a wedge issue uh, for the upcoming election. As we've been talking right now, the president just tweeted a direct tweet to Democrats. He said, Democrats, fix the laws, don't resist. We are doing a far better job than Bush and Obama, but we need strength and security at the border. Cannot accept all the people trying to break into our country. Strong borders, no crime. Your response. Yeah, here's the response. So this week, um, former Governor Huckabee put five members of MS-13 and said that that was Nancy Pelosi's re-election team. Um, look, George, you can go to Breitbart. They put my picture next to that of an MS-13. But that's not who they're picking up, are they? I mean, we saw the raid in Tennessee. We saw the raid um, in Ohio. We see the raids that are going abroad. They're picking up people that are working, uh, people that are contributing to our economy and leaving behind uh, hundreds and thousands of American citizen children. Look, there's got to be a better way to do this, but there isn't as long as this administration continues to use immigration as a wedge, as a political issue, the president said as much yesterday. Please, the Republicans are in charge of the House of Representatives. There's 240 of them. I'm in the minority. They're in charge of the Senate. The Senate, the Democrats are in the minority. They control the White House. They control the administration. They control every facet of government. And yet they say, why don't the Democrats fix the problem? And I want to make sure that everybody understands 
I visited those detention centers along with Democrats in the summer of 2015. We challenged the Barack Obama administration to do better. We supported the court decision. And I want to say very clearly that there is a difference. Then Secretary of Homeland Security, Jay Johnson, when confronted with the Flores decision that said that children could not be kept any longer than 20 days in custody, said, I will resign as Secretary of Homeland Security before I divide those moms from the children. God bless him. And those kinds of policies, which are humane policies, where people put families ahead of whatever political consideration or public policy consideration. So you will oppose the Republican legislation this week to allow families to be detained for more than 20 days? Absolutely. It is. George, I wish you... If you and the American public could visit these detention centers, these are for-profit detention centers. This is a multi-billion dollar industry in which people are making money by denying good health care, decent food. Uh, the accommodations are horrendous. These are jails and people are profiting off the pain. People come to this country seeking refuge. America is a nation that is better than this. I'm not going to allow children. So what are we going to do? We're going to say we're going to jail the children with the parents? Understand the unmitigated violence that they are so. One thing we should make clear, their zero tolerance policy, the Attorney General of the United States said that a woman coming to the United States, fleeing violence, fleeing torture, fleeing abuse, um, that that's a private matter. George, that's not a private matter in the United States of America. It's a crime in the United States. It's a very public matter. And a long time ago, we decided that protecting women and watching the abuse of women is something that we will not tolerate in this nation of ours. So stop. As long as they continue to criminalize uh, uh, immigrants and Latinos, which has been the cornerstone of, of, of his political strategy. We're not going to resolve this issue. But no, we said no to the Barack Obama administration. But you want to know something? Barack Obama had a soul. Right. Barack Obama had a center. You could speak to that, to, to his conscience, and you could get him to change his policies. Congressman, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.